Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode is a kind of a fun episode that sort of a lot of things kind of came together, and uh, then uh, came together, and I thought, okay, this might be a good way to, to, to bring in and bring in a new topic. Okay, so today's topic is going to be, um, you know, the inspiration for um, doujinshis, okay? And this all sort of started when basically uh, my son uh, got a project from school. Uh, it was to basically make a uh, you know this uh, magnificent thing using cardboard. So that's supposed to what the project is, and basically started um, uh, you know uh, crafting his project. He wanted to make a uh, a sword, so he started making these little mini swords and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, that's not a knife. That's a knife. Uh, so he started doing that, and uh, then I came up saying, "Well, that's not a you know very good sword." So then, you know, since the new thing that right now is a, that is a really popular is the Final Fantasy VII remake, I decided to show him the uh, trailer clip for the the game, and uh, basically the, to demonstrate uh, the sword uh, the, that Cloud carries, the Buster Sword. And uh, he fell in love with that kind of thing right immediately, and then basically he changed his model to begin building uh, one of those. And that's really, really good, nice because it's important because that, that now uh, you know I've got him interested in in one of the elements of cosplay, which is you know the actual crafting of props and that kind of stuff. So this is a really good, good one because this is his very first you know cosplay uh, type of thing. And uh, now, you know, so here he is, he's making up his uh, his, uh, his sword and then basically scaled down to his size, and it's really good. So that was a, that was a great accomplishment. Uh, that that that, that uh, you know your kids can uh, get into. Um, on a partially related note, uh, later on today, after uh, my son handed in his project to uh, you know to get marked and everything like that, uh, got a you know a new video that came out from the Happy Console Gamer, uh, good old Johnny and Kim, uh, and that had made announcements that uh, they're going to get a uh, baby daughter. So you know it really comes in good handy that yes, um, you know. Your kids are going to have lots of little things that they're going to get interested in, and well, who knows? Maybe, as as you say, uh, you know, you'll have these moments as well when they is their first opportunity to do something like, uh, you know, cosplay video games or whatever. But congratulations. Anyway, so as we were going on, and I was thinking, okay, now we're into this sort of Final Fantasy sort of mode and that kind of thing. Um, you know, the whole entire uh, you know the the uh, story and the and the part. Of basically what was going on between uh, Cloud and Tifa, you know, really still remains unanswered. And of course, you know, all this new remake has a lot of uh, you know controversy about uh, Tifa and whatnot, um, about graphics and that kind of stuff, which is really nothing, nothing um, that, that that didn't uh, you know happen back in the Dead or Alive uh, beach volleyball days, um, and uh, you know the outrage that, that came out from that. So I thought, okay, well, you know. Generally speaking, when you know the writers of manga or anime don't produce the um, you know the desired storyline or the desired outcome or um, you know don't flush out the particular details of a particular um, you know uh, story arc. Okay, for example, Neon Genesis Evangelion. You know, even you know Nano you know made the uh, the, 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 the the comment that. He wants you to interpret the ending the way you want to. Okay, so of course this opens up the alley for uh, for doujinshis. Okay, so basically these are basically uh, fan drawn comics, um, which basically the fans um, you know decide they're going to write their own story, their own interpretation, uh, their own sort of angle that they'd like to do uh, for different sorts of um, uh, of uh, you know stories. So. Um, I, I grabbed a couple here, you know, just with, you know, for that Final Fantasy, uh, uh, you know, theme, okay, that we got here. Um, so I got, I got a couple here uh, that I'll just quickly show you, because um, I can't show you exactly all the contents of it, but I'll show you as much as I can. <laughs> you you judge by the uh, by the medium that you're watching on, okay? So here's what I got one here for uh, uh, what they call uh, Final Fantasy X, okay? It's called uh, Yuna a la Mode, Okay. So, you know, if you think of uh, Keanu Candy, uh, you know, like uh, ice cream, yeah, this is the Yuna on the top, okay? So, uh, Final Fantasy X, okay? And it's a uh, job with the artist, uh, Saint Real. I really like his artwork and, and uh, different things that uh, I, I have from him. Here's another particular one. This is for um, um, the Final Fantasy uh, VIII, okay? It's uh, Renoa, 
a la mode, okay? And that's for Final Fantasy VIII, okay? Also done by uh, St. Real. Okay? Um, <clears throat> this one is also for Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, it's called... Um, uh, it's by, by uh, an artist called, who refers to as The Model. Uh, this is uh, his EX version, okay? I uh, won't show you the cover too, for the front cover for too long because there's uh, kind of material on it, but you can see that's the front cover of it. And that's the, the back cover of it, okay? And that's a lot of focus on uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Um, so, uh, yeah, so basically, you know, uh, when you get into different stories like this, and again, um, you know, uh, if you want a particular ending to happen, then trust me, the Dojinshis will take over for that. And again, whether it is happens to be an anime, a video game, or heck, even uh, books and that kind of stuff, uh, you know, um, one of the more popular uh, doujinshis out there is things, for example, uh, Harry Potter. Now, you know, again, there's maybe things that uh, in the stories that uh, didn't go the way the fans wanted. Well, trust me, I'm sure there will be a Harry Potter uh, doujinshi that will cover that angle for you. Anyway, so, what you want to do right now is you want to go down below and click like and click subscribe. And then you can see more different things uh, uh, when I release them, okay? So, until next time. See you.